I would define partner as like probably like hiding your emotions or your feelings or something. Like you put on like a persona, like you're a different person. It's basically like a cover up for what what you know is really true. When a person basically lies to like to protect themselves, it's like a shield. Speech or conduct that intentionally conceals one's personal feelings or true personal feelings. When you put a wall in front of you to hide the fact of what you really are. How am I perceived by my peers, whether it be those with whom I just want to be friends or those with whom I intend to be more than that. But, um, the other shorty over there, what I'm having with you, huh? I don't even care about her, bro. I don't worry about her. You already know. I'm straight up. You know, hey, I don't care about no girls. My heart numb, bro. But I care for you, huh? You don't do the romantic thing. You know I don't. I mean, people front all the time. You front in an effort to advance professionally. You front in efforts to uh, gain the attention of the opposite sex. You front in an effort to be accepted. Baby, my lady, you drive me crazy. Hey, 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 guys! I saw you from the corner of my eye, and um, um, hey, um, yeah, yeah. It's me, yo. All right, um, uh, all right. I have fronted before. I act like I didn't like the person, but I did. Boy, P Dollar is staring at you. you Gotta let me know what happened between that two. Boy, boy, boy. I don't wanna go there. Well, you're bugging. You gotta let me know what happened. You can't be staring at you like that for no reason. I feel females just front too much. I mean, they don't act. They be acting all stuck up, acting like they don't need nobody when they really do. I don't know why they play too many games, man. People getting older. I was kind of being stingy. Like, I didn't want the person to talk to other people. So, like, you know, I kind of backed off a little bit. I don't know, man. I, no, I don't front. Just a little bit, though. Shorty's down there. Whatever happened with you and um, Oh, I'm sure. man. You know what I'm saying? I just backed that up one time. When I come to school, see my friends, and I just make up all kinds of lies just so to keep everybody happy, you feel me? What happened? Like, did nah, you think? Nah, I had to spend a couple of dollars on them. Couple you know, for the time, it ain't nothing. Money, money, anything. They know me. I don't know if they know I be lying, though. I always lie. I never tell the truth. Can I get a breakfast platter? Mm, mm. Yo, butter roll. Come on, man. I'm P Dollar, man. I mean. <sighs> that was a nice lunch you had, wasn't it? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I gotta go. But why? I'm in school. Oh, man. I be talking to my boys like I don't need nobody in the world. No females, no nothing. When I get home, I be feeling the pain. I be feeling it. I get home and just, oh, man. <laughs> I think they feel like um, the person is selling out. They're trying to be something they're not. Pardon me. Excuse me, gentlemen. I, from what I heard from the streets, you guys are playing a game of chance, and I want to know if I can partake. Playing a what? They're trying to appeal to the white majority, or you know, trying to be favored, and like it just evokes a lot of different feelings. Why, boy? Unhand me. The intent is to to move forward. The intent, the intent is to um, attain something that wouldn't ordinarily be um, open to them. Thank you for calling me. Thank you for seeing my resume. I can't wait to start working. Okay, it's, you gotta know what persona to put on for every environment. Like, some environments you have to be tough or whatever, strong, and some environments you gotta be educated. Of course I'm gonna be educated at a job interview. I'm trying to get the job. I'm not gonna sit there and talk to them like they're one of my friends. Jerry Jane. Yeah, me too. So, who do we have next? Um, Jay Quack? Jay Quack? Jay Quack? Mr. Jay Quack? Jay Quack? Mr. Mr. Excuse me? Jay Quack? Yo! 
Jay Quack. It's Jay Hope. Not no. You're in it. Uh, hi. Pizza. Do you have a resume? Did I see your resume, please? Oh. Now I thought it was crumbled up, you know. I had to get some situated out here. The dog spilled on and all that, man. This is your resume? This is handwritten. What? No, man. To me, having a different having a different persona for every situation is more like critical thinking than it is fronting. Because you have to do that. Like that's supposed J Crap. Man, it's J Hall, man. Oh, okay. The words are silent. The words. Okay. Um Why? Do you have any past? You did ass cute, man. Oh. Real cute. I was talking all this crap on Facebook. My information on Facebook said I went to Harvard. I, was, I worked at Fly Guy. And my profile pictures was different people that looked closely like me if I was rich. And I told her that I got all this money. And I was, I was famous in other places. And I could take her out on a date. And it's all on me. So she was happy. Yes. Ooh, you look, you look good. <laughs> she really thought that I was like actually about that because my Facebook fooled her. What's up? We're hardcore now. Nah, 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 not yet, not yet. So just leave that as what's up? Yeah, yeah. All I had to do is was was back it up by having a lot of money, but I didn't. I had $10 and wasted it on bus fare and another bus fare. And by the time I came to the movie, there's like $3. And it was, just, it was a lot of people online, right to see the movie, in a rush, people fighting. And we were just in the, like, ahead of the line. And we held up a lot of people. And my thought in, in the line was like, all right, even if I'm gonna pull out these $3, I'm gonna, take him out in front of the, the person behind the counter and feel guilty and she might let us slide by. But she didn't. Just She just didn't say nowhere. She just was like, and the whole line was just waiting like this. Just looking. So after my girl left, well, she was not my girl anymore. After she left, I just walked away slowly to the table and called my mom. And then she took the bus home, whatever. And I got embarrassed the next day. She told her friends and all that. And we had three dollars. <laughs> how I said all that stuff. So everybody looked at me, I got embarrassed though. It is what it is. You see the rappers getting money and whatever, and you see all the girls going after them because they got money. So I'm thinking that if you have money, the girls in your school might go after you or this and that. Or if you say that you have a lot of money, people will like you more. So no one's out here knowing the, the excelling value of a dollar, knowing the value of hard work. They're just kind of reaping the spoils of their parents' hard work. So when, you know, students, you know, kind of stunt and talk about what they have and flash what they have, it's always quite comical and, and sad as well. Come on, like, do you, you don't really have the money for the stuff you, you're buying, like, and then you're bragging about it, like, you know. A lot of people do it, but. Every day. This is what I do. I, I, I look at, I deal with students every day for the past eight years. Students front every minute of the hour. They're fronting, yes.